So what happens if you combine 3D printing, Easter, and the guy on YouTube that likes to make the most challenging 3D prints possible? Well, you end up with something like this. Let's get started. How's it going guys? Angus here from Make His Muse and for this Easter I wanted to design something special. Now there's a lot of 3D printing projects on the internet right now revolving around Easter but I wanted to take things up to the next level. And as many of you would know I've designed many 3D printing torture tests in the past that really test your 3D printer. They're challenging but they reward you with an aesthetically pleasing object. But for this Easter, I wanted to kick things up a notch and I had the idea of creating this. Now this is my Maker's Muse Easter egg for 2018 and it's a real challenge to print and it has a few secrets. So I drew it in Fusion 360 and I drew it with three different shapes that are interlocked together using the revolve function. I then took some extrude cuts to add some detail and I topped it off with a little jewel which was created using a loft. And this egg has a secret because if you can 3D print it successfully, then the parts move independently. That's right guys, this egg has three independent components that revolve around each other freely if you can 3D print this successfully. And once you're done, you end up with a very aesthetically pleasing object. But believe it or not, this is actually twice the size of the original file. This printed on the Prusa Mark III in gold filamentum PLA, and this one printed on the Cetus. So this guy is the size of the file originally, and the other one is twice the scale. Guess what? It still works. So it's a little bit fiddly to operate. You have to kind of be careful. It is 3D printed, so you know there will be issues with strength along the layers. So you know, treat it with care, but this actually functions. And I am blown away by the fact the Cetus could print this at 0.15 millimeter layer heights on the finest setting. So guys, there it is. If you have nothing else planned this weekend and you want to test your 3D printer to the absolute limit with an Easter themed object, you can find the link here above to download the Make His Muse Torture Egg for Easter. It's a free download or you can enter any number you like as a donation to the channel. And as a big thanks to my Patreon supporters who have kept me going through the years, I really do appreciate it guys. You can find the source files for the Fusion 360 source file on Patreon. If you want to dissect this file, figure out exactly how I made it and make your own, then by all means feel free and that's on Patreon. And guys, let me know how you go. This is probably one of the most diabolical files I've ever designed. And um, it actually worked out way better than I expected. So let me know on Twitter at Makers Muse if you managed to print this successfully. I'd love to see your results. And if you did enjoy this video, guys, please do subscribe. I have heaps of videos coming to help empower your creativity through technology. I'd love to have you on board. My name's Angus. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later, guys. Bye. Rockets into deep space. He has placed satellites into orbit.